Hello and welcome back to the House of the Dragon Explained series. It's been a while. It took me quite a while to get back to it, but man, here we are. This is of course a spoiler-free analysis series for all the main characters of House of the Dragon. And the last character we did was Kristen Cole for the green. So it's time to switch back to the blacks. And in this case, the queen who never was. Rhaenys Targaryen. As always, we're gonna split this into three parts. Who is the character? What can we expect from the character? And then, last but not least, who will play the character? So, without further ado, let's jump into it. So, who is Rhaenys Targaryen? Rhaenys Targaryen was the firstborn child of Prince Aemon Targaryen and his wife, Lady Jocelyn Baratheon. As with many of these Targaryen princesses, she was very beautiful and it was said that she had black Baratheon hair. But the television series obviously changed that and gave her the classic Targaryen silver hair. Rhaenys was a fierce dragon rider with her dragon Malice, and she ended up marrying Corlys Velaryon. Given that Aemon Targaryen was the next successor to Jaehaerys Targaryen, it also meant that she was supposed to be the next in line after her father Aemon. But that quickly changed when her father died and Jaehaerys Targaryen appointed his brother Balon Targaryen as his heir. That was the first time that she was rejected as Queen of Westeros. And it wasn't the last. When Balon died, King Jaehaerys Targaryen called upon all the lords and ladies of Westeros to appoint a new heir after him, which is known as the Great Council at Harrenhal. And she got rejected for a second time there, which resulted in her becoming the queen who never was, and instead of Rhaenys, Balon's son Viserys Targaryen was chosen as the new king of Westeros after Jaehaerys Targaryen. And that is pretty much where we're going to start in House of the Dragon, so let's move on to the next point. What can we expect from Rhaenys Targaryen? First of all, a very complex character. Yes, she is a dragon rider, a fierce one, but I think we might get some shades of Olena Tyrell mixed in there. As we know from the trailers and teasers and interviews, this show will start with the Great Council at Harrenhal, so we will actually get to see how she reacted to all of this crap. And I think it's going to be very interesting to see that because a war could have broken out at any moment. It was a very heated situation. Rhaenys of course didn't like this at all and had the support of the Baratheons and Starks among others. And I think it's going to be interesting to see the reaction of both her and Corlys to that whole scenario. With House of the Dragon having separate timelines, we of course have two versions of Rhaenyra Targaryen and I think she's going to act as mentor to Rhaenyra and I think that in itself will be very interesting because we, we have Daemon playing a similar role here. We already get a few glimpses at that in the trailers when she's warning her that men would sooner put the realm to the torch than see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. Other than that, it's going to be quite interesting to see her relationship with Corlys, as well as her children, Lena and Lenor Velaryon. So yeah, all in all, I'm expecting a very complex character, a political figure, and later on, a fierce dragon rider. I think this series might pick up with her being very hurt about the decision of the Great Council. And it's gonna be interesting to see how she comes back from this. I'm also expecting a very wholesome depiction of the relationship between her and Corlys. And yeah, I can't wait to see it. She's gonna be a very, very important player in the Dance of the Dragons. She's gonna steal the show from Rhaenyra in terms of action. I think from the promos and yeah, the stuff that they're releasing, you might think that Rhaenyra is going to be a similar character to Daenerys in terms of the action, in terms of dragon riding and battles but no that's Rainy's, at least in terms of the action and yeah she's gonna get involved in season two i think i think she's gonna be a fan favorite for sure but yeah can't wait to see what house of the dragon has in store for us here so who is going to play Rainy's targaryen that will be the 51 year old eve best i didn't know her prior to the casting announcement but she's very experienced she's been working in the industry for years and years she's been doing a lot of theater work from the interviews we've seen so far you can just tell that she absolutely loves being in the show look around these sets that look like ancient monuments and buildings with massive statues or you can be on these amazing locations you cannot believe that this is on the earth somewhere this extraordinary I hope fans will get everything that they got out of Game of Thrones and more, more dragons. And I always love seeing actors being passionate about their role, so that's a great thing. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. This was the last character for the Blacks. 
And we're just going to have one more now. King Viserys Targaryen. I originally wanted to do way more of these, but I'll leave a few characters for Season 2. Characters that become much more important in Season 2. For example, Mizaria or Aemond, or Aegon II, and Larry Strong, and... Uh, <laughs> Nettles and man, we still have some work to do, but I figured these eight characters are enough to give you an idea. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care and see us later.